Subscribe to the Realist News Channel, LA Ghetto Street News. This is live from Philly. The sh the the suspect from the bowling alley. They got a picture, guys. Let's help catch this animal. Teenage gunman, the 17-year-old suspect shooter, is believed to have opened fire on five people inside a Montgomery County bowling alley, killing one of those victims. One dead. News reporter Alicia Roberts live in East Norton with the latest on this search. Alicia. Shoots in the bowling alley, there's children and though, you know, come on, man. A sign of the terror that happened here Saturday night. Want you to take a look, that boarded up window is reportedly where a father threw a bar stool through the glass, desperate to get his children to safety. And more than 24 hours later, the suspected shooter, considered to be armed and dangerous, he remains on the run. I want four medic units to the side entrance. And four victims inside shot. At 6.42 p.m. on a crowded Saturday night, as the lanes inside our town alley were full of bowlers and children, Montgomery County DA Kevin Steele says 17-year-old Jamel Barnes shot catch this animal. Shots, killing 29-year-old Frank Wade. A physical altercation begins between Jamel Barnwell and the victim, Frank Wade, and other individuals at that point. Uh, the defendant pulls out a gun and starts shooting. Four other people were also shot. Officials say they are Wade's relatives, ranging in age from 18 to 31. Police found Barnwell's cell phone inside the bowling alley. On it, photos of a teenager now wanted for murder. The uh, weapon that was used in this homicide was well, dropped caliber, his phone right there. I'm glad though. Magazine. Annie Croak was there as the shots were fired. By the fourth or fifth uh, shot, that's when people realized something's wrong. Um, and it was very chaotic after that. We all just kind of ran for cover. Barnwell now faces a list of charges, including first degree murder. This, as a community, comes to grip with what happened. This isn't a common occurrence here. It's a relatively safe neighborhood. Um, the community here, it's a small community. So this would be our, our first of this nature. And Artel Alley Management releasing this statement saying they are devastated by the violence that occurred on Saturday night. Our prayers are with the victims. Let's go viral, family, guys. Everybody share it. Let's help catch this animal before he goes shoots up other innocent people. You know? incident. That is how they were describing whatever it. it is, he Not should, you know, those four others injured blatantly shoot in the public like that. Green light.